Hey, it's Mikey from KX947, and welcome to the KX Country Clubhouse, where today we are being joined by MFP. If you know, you know, Megan Patrick. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? It's so good to see your face again. It's great to see you too. Um, I mean, life is really good right now. I, I cannot complain. I'm I'm happy and excited and yeah, it's just really all good things right now. Well, look, a lot has happened in your career since the last time that we have chatted. New record label, new music. You're you, it sounds like you're ready to introduce the world to Megan Patrick 2.0. I am, for sure. Um, you know, the last couple of years have definitely been a challenge to say the least it's it's been really difficult and um you know one you know just having a lot of the touring taken away not especially not being able to come back to canada and and play and and do shows there for for so long and then having everything change with with labels and stuff i haven't been able to put out music in in a long time and you know it's been a lot of like feeling like you're being held back and, and unable to do what you love can be really like discouraging and frustrating but you know i feel like being kind of on the other side of it now i see i see some of the value in that struggle and um you know a lot of it was being in a position where i was frustrated and unable to like release music and feeling like people just were not understanding me they weren't they weren't supporting me you know they they didn't really know what to do with me which was so frustrating because I knew <laughs> what I wanted to do. Um, but I think getting into that that headspace really pushed me creatively because I finally got to a place where I was like, all right, you know what? I feel like I've been trying to chase what everyone else has been wanting me to chase. I've been trying to give everyone else what they think they need from me and and nothing's happening. So I'm just gonna like do whatever I want. I'm gonna write the music I want. I'm gonna do things the way I wanna do it and you know like why not and so i think that just led to me doing a lot of self-reflection and digging a lot deeper into who i am as a person and and just musically and and eventually just gaining the, the confidence to be able to deliver that and and move into this new chapter and that's i think where a lot of it is just rooted in confidence in myself and being ready and able to show some different sides of myself and explore and evolve more creatively too which is exciting Right. So let's talk about this new music, The Greatest Show on Dirt, which is out by the time that you watch this. Uh, tell us about this new song. Yes. Um, well, I wrote this song with some of my best friends, which makes it extra special. Um, I mean, I write with talented writers all the time, but it's even better when it's people you love. And I was on a writer's retreat with uh, Tranny Anderson, Jake Mitchell and Matt McGinn. And Tranny actually just casually dropped this title. And we were all like, there's no way that's not written. It's too good. Like, there's no way. And we like looked it up, couldn't find anything. So then it's like, okay, how do we write this song? How do we not screw up this like brilliant title? And, you know, my, my first instinct, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, what is this about? And I start thinking about like rodeo. Right. But I'm like, I'm not, you know, I'm not Cody Johnson. I, I didn't do rodeo. I'm not like, I'm not a cowgirl. You know, I'm a girl that owned a horse and drank beer on that horse on trail <laughs> rides, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not a cow. Right. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, so it's not that. So what would be authentic to me? And we started talking about like, you know, maybe it's just this sort of like throwback kind of bittersweet, nostalgic memory of, of a relationship that was, you know, you're, you, this guy's driving you around in his truck all summer on dirt roads and you're laying down blankets, looking up at the stars, all these things are happening, like, you know, on dirt, so to speak. And um and it was never supposed to be about like that that they broke up or why they broke up it was more about just being able to look back fondly with this this memory of this relationship that was so special and like he was so on that it was like almost cinematic so yeah and i think it's got this kind of dreamy kind of chill vibe to it and just you can kind of just lean into and like think back because I think not not every relationship is or breakup is meant to like destroy you or make you hate the person or regret it like sometimes things are just meant to be a moment in time and they serve a purpose and then everybody moves on and you can just look back on it and be like I'm, I'm glad I had that you know right right and so when I listen to music usually it takes me a couple of uh, a couple of listen throughs to really get a feel for the song but this one the greatest show on dirt 
it just took me one listen and I got it and I understood it that and I love it. <laughs> that makes me so, so happy. Is this, is this new tune part of a larger project? So technically, so I am actually going to be announcing um, the EP that is coming out in May, May 5th. I'm going to be announcing that officially at the Opry. Um, and Friday the 14th, you can pre-save the EP and you immediately get Greatest Show on Dirt. And we'll be going to radio, so it's it's on. So yes, we have a full EP coming May 5th called Greatest Show Amazing. on Dirt. Amazing. So it seems like the trendy thing in country music these days is for uh, you to record something with your spouse. There's a lot of that going on. Have you and Mitchell talked about putting something out? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we we talk about it all the time and it definitely gets brought up to us a lot because we we've sort of we've collaborated and we've done songs together, but we've never actually done like an official duet. And, um, you know, and that's kind of on purpose because well, there, there's a couple things at play here. You know, one of the things is is for me personally, you know, I told Mitchell knows that um, as far as like creating a career here in the US, it's really important to me that I kind of do that on my own terms and blaze my own trail right. with my own music. Um, and so to me, the timing right now to do a duet with my husband, who is a really successful established artist already, you know, I kind of want to do it on my own. I want people to know me as just Megan Patrick before they know me as Mitchell Tenpenny's wife, who we did a duet with, you know? Of course. Um, and, and also I think it's like one of those things too, like it'll be something that Mitchell and I will write together. We'll just kind of know when the moment is right. It'll be something that'll be special for us. You know, who knows, maybe it'll be a duet that we do to kick off a tour together one day when maybe we have some babies that we want to take on the road or something. I mean, in my perfect world, we're Tim and Faith doing a big tour together <laughs> as like a family with a big like duet single out. And so that's kind of how I really envision it and I, I think he he sees it the same way and he he really respects and understands how important it is for me to do this on my own first, you know. Right. So we're breaking the fourth wall here. Uh, we're recording this on April the 10th. Tomorrow, you make your Opry debut. Does it feel real yet? It honestly, it was funny. I was, I went to my boxing class this morning and I had my, my phone was just like shuffling music and hasn't hit me yet by Blue Rodeo came on. And I, I think it hit me <laughs> when that song yeah. came on because I was like, this is it. Like this time tomorrow, I'm going to be waking up and I'm going to go play the Opry. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been thinking about it pretty much constantly every single day <laughs> since I found out about it and kind of just trying to like wrap my head around it and prepare myself for it. But um, yeah, today it just, it, it felt very real and I'm just really excited. I've got my family here. So yeah, it's very real today. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think we are all just as excited to up here for you as your dad and your stepmom were. Those reactions were everything. Yeah. Um, I, that it was, well, it's funny because like, you know, my dad's, he's a pretty stoic guy. He's pretty quiet yeah. and kind of laid back. And so, you know, but Nadia, my stepmom, as you can tell, a very excitable, <laughs> excitable woman. And I'm, I'm very lucky to, to have her in my life and, and have her support me and be there for me and cheer me on. So, yeah. And I, you know, I've got my sister here as well. So I've got some aunts and uncles that came in from Arizona. So I've got family and um, I've got my band, I got my friends, a lot of my girlfriends are actually in town, which is rare, because as you know, a lot of them are, are very successful musicians yeah. in, in their own right. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited that everyone's going to be able to be there for me. So from the Opry to releasing this brand new EP next month, um, what's, uh, what's the plan for MFP going into the summer? Um, well, just getting these new songs out and hitting the road as much as possible, you know, I'm my my big goals for this year um just as a whole was to get a ton of music out because i have a ton of music i've been writing like crazy just over the last couple of years and still right now i'm writing a ton and i i just have so much music i'm so so excited about um and it just really feels like next level and and just different um and music i think that's going to really have a big impact not just on my career but i think on country music um and so I'm excited to do that. And then, yeah, just hopefully, 
use that new music to get me some more touring opportunities and just be on stage. We all know that's my happy place. So yeah. as much as I can be on that stage playing my new music, the best, the better. Just hair banging your way right through the summer. Got to do it. Got to get that bang over, you know? <laughs> there you go. Love it. Megan Patrick, the new song, The Greatest Show on Dirt is available now. She is MFP. Again, if you know, you know. Our door is always open up here in KX Country. Megan, thanks for hanging in the clubhouse this afternoon. Of course. It's great to see you.